Hey everyone, so today we're going to be going over some more yield adjustment recipe conversions. So we're going to write this formula down, which is your portions to prepare PTP over 100 to get your working factor. So when it comes to these uh, yield adjustment recipes, you always want to find your working factor first when it comes to these word problems. So number 21, it says, you are told to make 131 portions of fried catfish. The recipe card calls for 30 pounds of catfish per 100 portions. How much catfish do you need? So again, the first thing you want to find is your working factor. So our portions to prepare, like I said, it says you're told to make 131 portions of fried catfish. So that is your portions to prepare. So 131 divided by 100, which equals 1.31. So this is your working factor. So after you get your working factor, you want to multiply it by your ingredients. So 1.31 times your ingredient. In this case, it says the recipe calls for 30 pounds of catfish. So that is what you're going to multiply your working factor by, the 30 pounds of catfish. So 1.31 times 30 pounds equals 39.3 pounds so again don't forget to label all your things so we can't leave it like that because we have to get it to its lowest unit, we have to simplify it. We can't leave it as a decimal. So our lowest unit when it comes to weight is ounces. So we're gonna to try to convert this to ounces. So we always have to block off our whole number and multiply the remainder of this by whatever's under it. So right now we're at pounds and we're going below it, so ounces. So we have to multiply this decimal by 16 ounces so 0.3 times 16 equals 4.8 ounces so again we still got that decimal so we block off our whole number and we always try to get it to a simplest form so we can the ounces is its lowest unit, so we can't go any more down. So after that, we always have to go to our decimal or fraction chart to determine what this falls in between. So 0 0.8 it falls in between right here, the three fourths. So don't get this confused. This is 0 0.80. So 0.80, so which it falls in between right here, which it makes it three fourths, not 0 0.08. So 0 0.80 is the same thing as three fourths of an ounce. So your final answer is 39 pounds, four and three-fourths of an ounce so with this amount of catfish you can make your 131 portions of fried catfish that you wanted that you were asked to make so this next one So it's number 22. It says, the recipe calls for chili mac. It calls for 18 pounds of ground beef per 100 portions. How much ground beef is needed for 45 
portions of chili mac. So again, the first thing you want to do is find your working factor using this formula. So our portions to prepare is 45 portions because that's how many portions of chili mac you want to make. So what you're going to do is 45 divide that by 100 which equals 0.45 so 0.45 is your working factor so after you get your working factor you multiply it by your ingredients so 0.45 times in this case it says the the recipe for chili mac calls for 18 pounds of ground beef per 100 portions so this is your ingredient the 18 pounds of ground beef so that's what you're going to, going to multiply your working factor by so 0.45 times 18 pounds equals times 18 so this equals 8.1 pounds so don't forget to label it so after that you block off your whole number again and then we can't leave it like that because we we're trying to make it to its lowest unit which again it's low our lowest unit when it comes to weights is ounces so we got to multiply the remaining decimal by your 16 ounces so 0 0.1 times 16 ounces so 0.1 times 16 equals 1.6 ounces. So again, we are going to block off our whole number and we're going to try to get it to its lowest unit again. Sit, the ounces is our lowest unit. So after you can't go any more down than ounces, we have to go to our decimal to fraction chart to determine where this decimal falls in between. So again, this is 0.60, not 0 0.06. So 0 0.60 falls in between this one right here, half. So 0.6 is the same thing as half an ounce. So your final answer is eight pounds and one and a half ounces. So with this amount of weight, you could make your 45 portions of the chili mac. 